Hey guys, what's up? It's Master Interest, uh, 97 here. Uh, today I'm bringing you another reaction video. This is the most disgusting things found in food by Mine Shop. Um, I have uh, Pokey Miner 20 here, but he's such a pussy that he does not want to watch this. So yeah, I'm with it. so I'm gonna be doing this alone. Um, should be pretty good. Ah, hang on. Ah, screw it. This damn thing likes to be a. Ah, uh, my computer's being a dumbass today, so. Here we go. Number 10 A Worm and a Cake. Oh. There is no birthday or anniversary party celebration without a large and beautifully decorated cake. Loaded with high amounts of calories, people are now resorting to purchasing low calorie cakes with less calories, but the same savory taste. Anna Jones, a 25-year-old from the UK, was one such person, who purchased a Weight Watchers cake for her birthday back in 2011. It was while enjoying a slice of her red velvet chocolate cake that she noticed a live giant caterpillar worm walking on her plate. She disturbed the giant worm from taking a nap inside the sweet and delicious dessert. Surely, this wasn't the diet Anna had in mind, but I guess for now she won't be eating anything called cake after this experience. Chances are she will never eat anything. Anything with this way, guys? Yeah. Extra protein. <laughs> I'm getting a look from Pokeminer over here. <laughs> Pokeminer not amused. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, there's also it's also another way to lose weight. Uh, eats you from the inside out and then makes you go to the uh, emergency room. <laughs> But, uh, oh, no, don't be like that, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, probably not my cup of tea, but hey. Sweet again. Number nine, a tooth and a chocolate bar. In 2010, Sue Calhoun took a bite of a Milky Way bar that changed her life forever. At the time, she might have actually thought she was chewing almonds or some other member of the nut family. Oh. But wait, Milky Way bars don't have nuts. I forgot. This weird thing her teeth encountered was not almonds nor nuts, but an actual toothbrush. Looks oh. like someone from the Milky Way fa- I thought it was gonna be an actual tooth, but toothbrush, free toothbrush, tastes just like chocolate. <laughs> be in this reaction video, man, come on. Ugh. Hey, I actually want to complain about that. Free toothbrush tastes like a uh, Milky Way bar. Hey! Makes the toothpaste taste a little better. That's just me. That's just me. After he got too much chocolate stuck in their teeth, then mistakenly placed their toothbrush in the wrapper of a Milky Way bar after using it to brush. Calhoun wasted no time reporting the unhygienic matter to the Mars candy brand, owner of the Milky Way. To her surprise, all she was offered was an apology and a coupon to purchase another Milky Way bar. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of companies will not give you refunds. They'll just say, oh, I'm sorry, this was found in your uh, product. Whether it be a toothbrush or a freaking razor blade. Could have bled to death, but hey, here's a free coupon. Get, you know, the Milky Bar. Like, fish? I almost, I probably almost struck to death and you give me a coupon. That that's um, I probably sued their asses. Although I keep the toothbrush. Number eight, a razor blade and ice cream. Oh. Ice cream. We all love ice cream. As kids, we would go crazy for it. But tell this to Stephanie Granger from Texas, who now has a different look towards this cold, creamy, and melting delicious delight. Stephanie was in for a wide awakening when she purchased some ice cream from her local Walmart, an experience that she unfortunately will never forget. She had purchased the peanut butter stars ice cream, which turned out to have more stars and surprises than she knew about. Lodged in this frozen delight was a razor blade. She immediately returned the ice cream and demanded a refund. She was never given a refund, just a formal apology from a senior Walmart employee. Luckily for Stephanie, she still has her tongue. Okay, wait a minute. This bitch, this bitch finds a razor blade. A razor blade in her ice cream. And they don't even give her a freaking refund, they just apologize to her. When she probably could have eaten that razor blade and just like sliced her throat from the inside out. 
Uh, I need to, what do you think about this? I mean, would you sue their asses for this or like what? Like, yeah, you can communicate here. I mean, come on. You are a fucking pussy. Pokemon are 20 year people whose pussiest person I know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's the point in time where I probably sue their ass. Number seven, nails and mac and cheese. It's your wedding day and you're with your husband at the reception, enjoying your first meal together as husband and wife, when everything goes wrong. Rebecca Shorten, back in 2008, just wanted to enjoy your- This is gonna ruin mac and cheese for me. I love mac and cheese. If I find ma nails and mac and cheese, I'm gonna be pissed. Pasta before taking that first dance with her husband, when her teeth began crunching a little too much. It turned out that the crunchy bits were actually steel nails that somehow appeared into her meal. Rebecca managed to swallow one of the three two-inch nails found in her pasta meal. She was rushed to the emergency room after she realized she had swallowed the nail. Doctors could not remove the nail surgically, so they gave her laxatives, which allowed her to pass out the nail naturally. Ugh, oh. oh, God. All this drama on her wedding day. That hey, sucks. Number six, a condom and clam chowder. Most exotic and exquisite restaurants normally purchase their goods in large quantities from all over the world and then have them shipped in. While your local restaurant will support the local economy and purchase locally produced fresh foods, McCormick and Schmidt is known for its fresh hot meals, including its popular clam chowder. However, Layla Sultan certainly got a rubbery surprise in her bowl of chowder while dining at the Irving, located in California. She received the chowder a bit too cold to her liking, so she asked the waiter if it could be reheated. The waiter obliged, but when the bowl came back, it had a red latex condom hidden in the meal. I guess the waiter had too many difficult customers that day. I don't know. Okay, what is gonna be going on back there to like put a condom in my sea soup? Okay? I mean, uh, <laughs> that point in time, I would have uh, embarrassed, embarrassed them right there. Is like I'd, I'd pick up the condom and be like, "Uh, hello, everybody, thanks for coming today. Did, did we mention that today's special is soup and a condom?" <laughs> I mean, <sighs> you are a fucking chef. Yeah. You are a fucking chef, and yet you will have to be doing soup in the kitchen in soup in the kitchen. If any of you out there know what the hell that means. You don't know what that means, do you? Okay. Uh, what's next? Tampons? Watch me call that shit. Number five, a mouse and curry. I know India has some of the best curry you will ever find anywhere in the world, but I'm not sure if curry mouse is a delicacy you can find anywhere in the world. Well, this overly marinated little curry- Hey, wait a minute, I thought curry was like fish eggs. Sure was what Kate Barrett saw when she popped open a jar of curry she got from the corner store back in 2009. This curry was the Asda brand. Kate miraculously discovered the dead marinated mouse in the curry jar, just seconds before pouring it over chicken breast she had diced and prepared for dinner. The event was so traumatic for her, each time she would see or smell curry, she would have a strange sense- At least it was marinated. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Sensation of vomiting. She wrote the company, but only received an apology. I don't know about you, but I don't think she wanted a free grocery shopping spree from Asda. Number four, a bullet in the hot dog. Watching your favorite baseball game without gra- Hey, with all the shit that's in a hot dog, bullet would be more, the more healthier choice. You don't want to know what's in hot dogs, man. You don't want to ruin it for you guys. The list so that is Pokemon. Having a hot dog and something to drink would be extremely boring. After all, it is just a hot dog. Nothing can ever really go wrong. This. I did not know you were gonna do that one. That was good. 
I told you I'd play an air horn. I thought it was a different air horn. MLD air horn. Nice. It was the same thing Olivia Chains from California thought in 2004, when she bought a hot dog that had a bullet wedged in it. Olivia purchased the hot dog from Costco's food court, but when she bit into it, her teeth immediately hit something hard. Trying not to swallow despite being very hungry, she accidentally swallowed the bullet. The hot dog was the Hebrew national brand, a very popular brand that you will see at almost every hot dog stand you go to. Maybe dogs are not so innocent as we might have thought. Or someone at the hot dog factory had too many bullets and decided to give away some of them. Number three, a frog and frozen veggies. We all eat frozen vegetables all the time. It's so easy to prepare. Just pop open the bag, microwave the amount you want for your family, and place it on the dinner table. But how many of us know there are actually many hidden creatures frozen in that bag of mixed vegetables? The Hoffman family from Michigan was preparing their usual family dinner in 2010 when they stumbled upon their small amphibian friend, frozen in a bag of mixed vegetables, a frog. Alarmed about the health hazard of their finding, they contacted the local health authorities. The company of the frozen mixed vegetables took more than a week to recall the batch of vegetables. Clearly, this meant there was a great chance that some families had frogs for dinner without actually realizing it. Number two, a rat in a salad. Ordering a salad means eating healthy, right? Well, eating a balanced meal with vegetables and proteins is always the way to go. Whether you want to lose weight or you just want to eat healthy, the Aubon Pain, located in Minneapolis, decided to give one special customer some extra protein as a bonus in her meal. No doubt she would have preferred freshly grilled pieces of meat to go with her attractively decorated vegetable mixture. But to her surprise, what she got was a rat, painted and concealed under light orange creamy salad dressing. To put the icing on the cake, this woman had already eaten more than half of the salad when she realized this, that in her salad there was a piece of meat she didn't order. Now people have another excuse and a valid explanation for not eating healthy. Number 1. Oh a tampon and filet mignon. One would assume that dining at the prestigious Bull and Bear at the Waldorf Estonia in New York that all the employees would display some of the highest level of hygienic standards while handling and preparing food for their high-end customers. Well, Axel Sands Close, when he sat and dined at the restaurant during the summer of 2009, got a soft surprise. This small surprise just goes to show that even some of the most expensive and highly overrated restaurants can make terrible mistakes. What Axel encountered as he dug into the spicy filet mignon was a tampon. This was not an ordinary tampon either. This one was used. He immediately washed out his mouth with brandy and went to the emergency room. The doctor confirmed the tampon was definitely used and he should be tested for HIV. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, don't know if I did. Oh, I, I definitely called that tampon thing. Very funny. I definitely call that tampon thing. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the original link is going to be down in the description below. Um, like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time. Let me find the damn thing. Alright, peace.